Welcome student. Today we are going to learn integers. Integers are positive or negative real numbers which do not have a fractional part. Please note that 0 is also an integer. For example, 21, 0, negative 9, 2, 5, negative 11 and 9 are all integers. Whereas, negative 1.1, 0 0.7, 3.6, negative 8.5 and 4.1 are not integers because they have a fractional part. Integers can also be defined as the collection of negative numbers and whole numbers. So it should be clear that integers can be positive as well as negative. We can represent the fact as whole numbers and negative numbers collectively are known as integers. Integers can also be represented on a number line. A number line is a line on which real numbers can be placed according to their value. Each point on a number line corresponds to a real number. The zero point is called the origin. Now we shall see the representation of integers on the number line. This is the number line. On the left hand side of the origin, we can see negative integers. And on the right hand side of the origin, positive integers can be seen. Now, let us study some well known properties of integers. The first property states that a positive integer is always greater than any negative integer. For example, 2 is greater than negative 3. According to the second property, 0 is lesser than every positive integer. Or we can say that every positive integer is greater than 0. For example, 1, 5 and 11 are positive integers and hence they are greater than 0. It is also true that 0 is greater than every negative integer. This is described by the third property. Therefore, negative integers like negative 5 or negative 9 are lesser than 0. The fourth property states that 0 is neither a negative nor a positive integer. All other integers are either positive or negative. According to the fifth property, farther a number is from 0 on the right side of the number line, larger is its value. For example, on the right side of the number line, 5 is farther from 0 as compared to 3. So 5 is greater than 3. Sixth property states that farther a number is from 0 on the left side of the number line, smaller is its value. Let us understand by an example. Negative 7 is farther from 0 as compared to negative 4. So negative 7 is lesser than negative 4. Let us look at an example. We need to find out two consecutive integers whose sum is equal to 75. Let us suppose that the first integer is x and as the integers are consecutive, so the next integer would be x plus 1. According to the question, the sum of these two integers should be equal to 75. That means x plus x plus 1 is equal to 75. Or we can say that 2x plus 1 is equal to 75. Now, subtract 1 from both the sides we get 2x is equal to 74. To find the value of x, we divide both the sides by 2 and hence x comes out to be 37. As the second integer was x plus 1, 
So its value would be 38. We shall consider a similar example for more clarity. We need to find three consecutive integers which are multiples of 5 and they add up to give 75. Let us suppose that the first integer is equal to x. We know that the integers are consecutive multiples of 5. So second integer will be equal to x plus 5 and third integer will be x plus 5 plus 5 which is equal to x plus 10. Now according to the question sum of these three integers should be equal to 75. That means x plus x plus 5 plus x plus 10 is equal to 75. Or we can say that 3x plus 15 is equal to 75. On subtracting 15 from both the sides, we get 3x is equal to 60. To find the value of x, we divide both the sides by 3. This gives us x which is equal to 60 divided by 3, that is 20. Therefore, second integer will be x plus 5, that is 20 plus 5, which gives us 25. Similarly, third integer will be equal to x plus 10, that is 20 plus 10, which is equal to 30. That brings us to the end of today's session. Goodbye and take care.